Hey, I'm Bryony and welcome to this mini Thanksgiving version episode of Future of Sex. So you're probably wondering, why is this just a mini episode? Well, we're still putting the finishing touches on our next episode. You know, the one where I visit an underground club for women's only play parties. But we also know there's a good chance you're travelling this holiday week and need something to listen to in the car. So instead of giving you a half-baked full episode or not giving you anything, we decided to give you this quick teaser for our episode on being bi-curious. But as always, before we get started, we just want to remind you, this podcast contains explicit language and adult themes. So if you're riding in the car and there are little ones around, you should probably save this episode for later or just pop in some earbuds. Okay, so as a teaser for the much more in-depth conversation we're going to have about this next week, let me pose the question. What does it mean to be bi-curious or sexually fluid? It basically comes down to how we look at sexual preference. Essentially, people's sexual responses are not set in stone and can change over time, often depending on the immediate situation they're in. For example, if someone identifies as heterosexual but then finds themselves in an environment with only people of the same gender, they might feel an increased sexual or romantic attraction to those same gender partners. Just like any other social trait you have, sexual preferences, attitudes, behaviours and identity can be flexible to some degree and change over time. Like, a simple one for me is, I used to hate olives. And then one day I discovered I love olives. Another important thing to remember is that sexual fluidity, or bicuriosity, is not the same thing as being bisexual. Bisexual is a clearly recognised sexual attraction for both men and women. Bicurious means, well, just what it says on the tin. Curious and open to experimenting. You don't have to be dating men and women to be bicurious. Often, a sexually fluid or bicurious person may have a clear preference for and most sexual experience with one gender, but remain open to the other. But likely, given the current social context, they've probably never acted on that curiosity. Are you intrigued? Yeah, I thought so. So, here's the deal. I'm going to leave it at this for now. It's Thanksgiving week, and with the election just wrapping up, chances are you already have more than enough to talk to your friends and family about over turkey and gravy. But when we all get back together next week, I'm going to give you a full framework for sexual orientation. And, as I already mentioned, I'm going to take my mic and recorder into a place called Skirt Club, an underground club for women. I'll talk to the founder and we'll hear the stories of some of the women who have found Skirt Club to be a place of fun and freedom. In the meantime, why don't you tell someone you know about this show? Invite them to check out our first couple of episodes that explore the history of shame and taboo and how we're doing our part to better understand and shape the future of sex. And if you've been enjoying this show and haven't left us a review in iTunes yet, could you take a moment and do that for us? It's such a great way for us to become more visible in the iTunes world, which helps more people find out about our show, which helps progress the conversations around the emerging worlds of sex and tech. And if you'd like more info, go check out futureofsex.org. There you can find out more about the people I interview on the shows, learn about me, and subscribe to The Cheeky Weekly, our free resource that will land in your inbox every single week. I'm so glad you're coming along with me on this journey. Now, go enjoy your holiday and I'll talk to you next week on our full episode exploring the bi-curious and the underground world of women's only play parties. Talk to you all soon.